Rocky. Caruso is Breeze's hero. Excitements in the air, day number one of the OI Rio Pro. 2019, I qualified for the Dream Tour, which was my ultimate goal. To think that this could actually be my job, to be a professional surfer and to, to travel around the world. Everything is so quick and new when you're going to locations that you've never been before and you're surfing against your idols. And is Bruce's hero. It's pretty crazy just going straight into that. I had a couple okay results. It looks like it's going to be enough for the rookie to make the jump over the three-time world champion. And she can't believe it. I've got goosebumps. What an effort. It definitely went through a big period of the rest of the year where I lost my sense of self. I was trying to find that balance of who is Brisa on land and who is Brisa in the water. We've made the decision to cancel the 2020 championship tour due to the COVID-19 pandemic. I remember they made an announcement on the beach. My dad was like, we need to get out of here. So after having that mindset that I was going to be traveling around the globe, I ended up being on the most isolated place on the planet, Nomotu Island. While we we're kind of postponed, as they say, as there's no flights coming into Fiji at this time, we can't let anyone else come on the island. It's basically full isolation. So we're kind of going through a food check because kind of make sure that we're <laughs> able to eat while we're here. A lot of mayonnaise. <laughs> Not too psyched on that. <laughs> We are trying to salvage all the broccoli we have. Brisa's making a pickled carrot. Let's just say we're, we're prepared for a zombie. Yes. <laughs> if it ever gets to go Watch your dad's live Instagram video because we're too scared to go outside. So we're watching what's happening and the windows are boarded. <laughs> so 
So here on Emoto, it's a small crew. We all have to, you know, work together, and you know, you gotta, you gotta work for those girls at Club Break. So safety first, kids. What are we doing today? Surfing. We're taking that guy surfing. He's Spending time with the amazing Fujian crew that live here. It just brings me so much joy to, to connect with them and to connect with others. The Fujians live the most beautiful and interesting and simple life where I feel like the whole world can take a lot from they appreciate every moment. It reminds me so much of growing up in Costa Rica with my family. Every day we were out in nature and life was an adventure. I think it's really cool that um, Brisa came today to surf with us up here. Oh my god, I've been wanting to surf with her for so long. And even like when Keisha said that she texted, I was like jumping in the car and I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna make me cry. <laughs> These girls are like charging cloud break. They're pretty much like the first generation to be surfing out there. Their role models have been boys. So I think it's really cool that you're actually going to be the inspiration for little girls coming up. I have a couple boards. 
I, I wanted to give to the, the board riders. This is actually the board that I rode at Karama's, so it's a pretty special board. They've definitely been dear to my heart, so if they could go to a good home and hopefully inspire, you know, a little girl to go surfing, I think that's like, that would be amazing, it would make my day. Cloud break is a beast and it is scary and raw and unpredictable. I never knew nobody that could change me, make me new. I never knew nobody that could break me. a different mindset after going out there that I thought that I never would reach. It was like this embracing, embracing this fear. It wasn't the fear of cloud break itself. It was embracing other fears in my life of kind of like those fears that haunted me in my rookie year. You know, that sense of self. Funny because Shay's like, was that cooler than Brisa winning a contest? And I'm like, I think it was because that was like mental conquer. It was also, you know, conquering nature. It was amazing. That was a big one. So I'm pretty stoked. Right on. Whatever the normal is going to be, which I have no idea what the future holds, I hope I. I take what I've learned here into the real world. For you to, to be happy and to, to be successful is to find the, the love within yourself and to love others and to hopefully get the opportunity to love what you do and also just connecting 
back to the ocean. I think that's what it was all about for me, was finding that, that deep love I, I have for surfing. And I feel a lot more connected than I have in a long time. I see the sea within you and me, the storms that have passed, the clarity in this moment, the change of the tide. Breathe it in, let it go. Feel the motion, for within every drop, we are the ocean. When I was 12 years old, someone put my first bat in my hand. That sealed my fate. Bats are the most unfairly treated animals on earth. Fear, not knowing what treasure they have in their local cave, drives people to dynamite it, to gas them, to all kinds of things. But bats provide us with many ecosystem services. Agricultural pest control. Esta es una larva de gusano cogollero. Each million bats destroy 10 tons of insects every night. If we lose those bats, we would lose the crops in a few months. They're also promoting the regeneration of the forest by dispersing the seeds over vast, vast areas. And they pollinate a lot of ecologically or economically important species of plants, like the agaves that are the source for tequila, which represents for Mexico about $3 billion a year. I won the Rolex Award in 2008 for our program for conservation of bats through environmental education, research, and conservation action. We started mapping the most important colonies. And in the process of monitoring, we're also educating the local communities, and they become bad defenders. We are solving problems of conservation by 
building bridges across different professions. For example, the lesser long-nosed bat or tequila bat was the first species that we focused on. Joining forces with the tequila and mezcal industry, we created bat-friendly tequila. We were able to remove this bat from the endangered species list. This is a beautiful success story in conservation. The Rolex Award is a big recognition, and it gave me the platform to maximize my ability to continue changing things. We created a humongous network of privately owned protected areas around the country that today includes about 17% of Mexico's territory. When I have a bat in my hand and I show it to anybody, you see the change in a flash. This is exactly what has been driving me for a long, long time. I am here at 64, continue to be the same child who had his first bat in his hand. I will never give up. I felt at home right away in Cape Town. There's a really open quality in people who live by the ocean. The people here have a real sense of fun, of relaxation, lightness of touch. Everywhere you look, there's real style and originality. And I think it's hard not to get caught up in it. It's got amazing food, 
incredible aromas and color, all the things that make life rich. But I keep getting drawn back to the mountain. It's a unique and incredible thing to have a mountain like that right in the center of a city. I mean, up there, you can really feel the vibrancy of the city and its people. I find it so inspiring. June 23rd, 1972. In Washington, a key moment for President Richard Nixon and his Chief of Staff, H.R. Haldeman, during the Watergate scandal. They discussed using the CIA to block the FBI's probe of the break-in at Democratic National Committee headquarters at the Watergate complex. Nixon resigns more than two years later, soon after this White House conversation is made public on what's known as the smoking gun tape. 1940. During World War II, Nazi Germany's leader Adolf Hitler visits France's capital, Paris, a day after that country falls to his Third Reich. 1868. Inventor Christopher Latham Scholes receives a patent for his typewriter. The first machines reach the market in the following decade. 1995. It was possible to do something about it. And that freed the parents of Thea and freed the children to live a normal life. Dr. Jonas Salk, who developed the first vaccine to halt the crippling rampage of polio, dies in La Jolla, California. He was 80. And 2006. TV producer Aaron Spelling dies in Los Angeles at age 83. Among his hit series, Charlie's Angels, Love Boat, Dynasty, Beverly Hills 90210, and Melrose Place. Today in History, June 23rd, Mike Gracia, The Associated Press. Welcome back in our studio and in today's news, 